Today I'm on a test and review paint markers. I have a few brands in there. I have Pasca, Liquitex and a few other ones. I want to create some line work on abstract pieces like this. So what I'm looking for is a smooth line and good opacity. In the last couple of months, I've collected different paint markers. I've been wanting to try them, different brands, different colors and nib sizes. Liquitex is a brand that I really trust. I've used it in acrylic paint for years. It's one of my favorites. These acrylic paint markers really feel like acrylic paint. It's very thin, but the smell is the same and the texture feels like paint. The way to use the markers is to really shake them well to mix the paint, then pump the nib gently to flood the nib with paint, then it's ready to go. So it's really important to have a scrap piece of paper on the side when working with these because you have to go back and keep pumping the nib for the paint to come out. Some pigments are naturally more opaque than others, so that's something to keep in mind when choosing the colors. I find that this carbon black was about 80% opaque on the first coat and 100% opaque on the second coat. In using those markers, I was afraid I would get paint spatters, little dribbles of paint all over the canvas, but it's not really the case. It gives a pretty smooth line. But when it comes to the two shades of gray, it was a lot more transparent. So it took me two coats to get it to where I wanted it to be. Side note, I have four different brands of white paint markers. For me, white is really important. I want it to be pretty opaque and work well on a darker paint color. So I'll review those at the end on black paper. For Liquitex, as far as I know, there's two types of nibs. There's the bullet type and the chiseled one. And there's also two sizes, a really large chiseled nib and a smaller nib, which can come in bullet size and in chiseled size. I got the two to four millimeters in chiseled for Liquitex, all the Liquitex colors that I have. I didn't get a bullet one, which I regret, but I did get bullet nibs for all the other ones. So you'll get to see the differences. Both gray colors were a lot more transparent. So maybe 50 to 60% on the first coat. But again, on the second coat, it was pretty good for me. I bought these markers in different batches and I had tested a few of them a few months ago, but very briefly, which means that some of the nibs were not pristine. They had dried paint on it, which is a really good thing because it made me work harder for it and kind of have to fix it. I'll show it more when it comes to the white markers. I had trouble with the Liquitex white but I was able to fix it. I'll show you in a minute. By testing the markers, I discovered that I much preferred the bullet size marker because I found that the chisel got frayed a lot quicker and it seemed like the bullet ones stayed firmer longer and gave more of a smooth line. Another cool thing about the bullet nib is that it's reversible, so you get to use both sides. One really great thing about Liquitex is that I was able to find um, assortments of nibs to buy separately. I wasn't able to find them in the other brands. I don't know if they are for sale, if you could buy nibs separately, but I only found it in Liquitex. The red marker was by PBO and I was really, really impressed by the texture and the feel of it. Bonus, it came with an extra nib right there on the cap. And because it's a bullet nib, it's reversible. So it means that I have essentially four nibs to use. And I'm assuming that with that size of a pen marker, four nibs would be enough to kind of finish off the marker and then buy a new one. All those markers are about the same price range. I think Liquitex might be a little bit more expensive. I would say they're all between four to seven dollars, depending on where you are. All right, Posca pens, the famous Posca pens. It was my first time trying them. I got a pink and a white. The pink is much larger and the white is very small, like a very detailed, Nib. They have an incredible color selection, an incredible nib type selection. They have a brush type nib, different sizes of nibs. There's a lot of variety. On the website, it says that it's a water-based paint like Liquitex and PBO. There's no big smell to it. So I'm assuming that it is water paint and that there's no solvent. The only thing that I found surprising was that the paint seemed to eat at the paper a little bit more than the PBO and Liquitex. When I used Liquitex and PBO, it really felt like a super thin version of acrylic paint. 
same kind of smell same kind of feeling just more liquid and pretty opaque this felt like there might have been a little bit of solvent in it just because the paper was kind of reacting to it that can easily be fixed by using a coat of gesso to prime the paper just wanted to mention that but the line was really smooth it acted pretty much like the other ones but i feel like for these markers to keep performing well and i mean that for all the brands there's a few things to keep in mind and ways to care for them i'll get into that at the end now i want to see the white swatches because i was really curious to see which ones were more opaque and how they performed like i said i want to use white on dark colors so that's important for me to know which one's the best starting with sharpie i didn't know sharpie had water-based markers i thought sharpie was just like a sharpie <laughs> the good old sharpie that we know so i was pleasantly surprised i was also very pleasantly surprised with the performance this white sharpie worked really well it's a bullet nib it's reversible there's no weird smell it worked really well no blotching no spatters or anything like that and side note i had tried this sharpie many many weeks ago so the paint had time to dry on the nib and it was actually not dry i didn't even take care of the nib in any particular way i tried it a few times put it back in the drawer and that's it and trying it after weeks and comparing it to other brands i found that it worked really well the second one was the sakura pen touch marker this doesn't say that it's water-based and it has a smell to it which i don't really like yeah, it smells like a regular marker. I had tried it previously as well as the Sharpie. I bought them at the same time, but this one was kind of dry, so I had a hard time using it again. I didn't spend a lot of time trying to fix it, as in wash the nib and try to make it work, just because of the scent of like the solvent scent. It kind of put me off a little bit, especially since none of the other ones have the scent. So, so I kind of dismissed this one because of that. I also had a bit of trouble with the Liquitex White, but there was an easy fix for this one. And that's when I realized that I, one, didn't really like the chiseled nib. It really felt more blotchy than the bullet nib and give a more imprecise line I found. When I did the swatches and I saw that it wasn't working because the paint was dried, I took out the nib went to kind of wash it under tap water really well then patted it dry tried it again and then it worked really well it also made me realize that i have to treat these markers like paintbrushes meaning not leaving them dry on the table and also washing them after every use the way i do it typically would be to use them in my artwork keeping the cap on as much as possible and when my session is done going to wash the nib underwater pat it dry put it back on and then store them horizontally so that there's no paint tripping into the nib i feel like by doing that there wouldn't be any of that drying problem on the nib as you can see after i washed the nib the marker worked really well pretty much as good as new i tried putting three coats of white to see how it would do it layers really well there's no like weird peeling off or weirdness when i put my third coat the paint dries really fast as well, which is a good thing. I'd say that after two coats, it's pretty much like 75 to 80% opaque. And after the third coat, I would give it like a good 95% opaque, which is probably as much as we can expect from a paint marker. My Pascal White has a very precise small nib, which is a good thing. I wanted to try that to see how many details I could get, how, how it felt to have a smaller nib i really like it i wasn't even able to pump a blob of paint on the paper as you saw and kind of block an area of paint even if my nib was super small again with pasca i had that thing where the paper would kind of disintegrate under the the, the ink well not the ink but the paint that's why i'm suspecting there might be a little bit of solvent it would make sense to put a bit of solvent in there to prevent the nib from like blocking or drying I don't know that there is, I'm just speculating. There's no weird smell really, but just by the fact that the paper is kind of like getting damaged by the Posca pen as opposed to PBO and Liquitex. PBO and Liquitex really behave like acrylic paint on paper, exactly like paint. 
I think Posca has the most color selection. It has the most types of nibs, which is really interesting. But PBO and Liquitex do have a bunch of colors as well. I love that PBO gives an extra nib, which is pretty cool. Essentially, like I said, you get four size. So that's enough for this whole pen. I love that Liquitex gives the option of buying nibs separately. None of these whites were fully opaque on the first coat. I had a secret hope that one of them would maybe to find a magical white marker that would be super opaque, but I didn't. If you know of one, please leave it in the comment. I'd like to know. If I had to pick my favorites, I think I would go with the Sharpie white just because I didn't have to do anything to it. I left it in my drawer for a long time. It didn't even dry out and the opacity was really good. So when it comes to whites, I think I'm gonna go with Sharpie. As far as other colors, my favorites are really PBO and Liquitex because they really behave like paint. I feel like Liquitex is a super solid company. I trust uh, the paint itself, PBO as well. To me, the feel of it was really great. The fact that I was able to wash this nib that was pretty dry and that it worked again made me feel more secure. I don't know if Pascal would behave the same way. I'm assuming that it would. On the website, it says that if a nib is super dry, you could leave it soak overnight in a, a little bucket of water. So I'm assuming that it would perform as well. I just don't know because I haven't had them for a super long time. I just didn't love that the Pascal pen kind of damaged the paper. I prefer Liquitex and PBO because it really felt like liquid paint. My recommendation is to really use bullet nibs. I feel like they're much better and they're reversible. So you get two nibs when you get a pen. I would rinse out the nib after every use, pat it dry, put it back in and storing them horizontally to really make sure that they work well the next time I wanna use them. I fully recommend. If you'd like more inspiration, you can watch this one next and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching.